what's going on guys welcome back to the channel sorry i've been mia for a little bit good explanation i went to fuel fest like a couple weeks ago computer took a shit i was editing that video I had to scrap everything i edited get the new computer which hurt a little bit but it's fine again i'll be able to get uh stuff out a little bit faster for you guys got the new computer finished that video uploaded it if you haven't seen it please click that link below go check it out i'm truly truly just proud of myself because I can see the progression. I, I see how I'm improving here and there when it comes to filming, when it comes to editing and all that stuff. So please show some support. Go check that, that video out. It's a great time just, you know, showcasing all the cars, showcasing the show itself and whatnot. And of course, demonstrating my skills on the computer. Okay. Anyways, guys, welcome back once again today. We are going to be focusing on the, I was about to say the G. Oh, man. She's doing good, guys. She's, she's in good hands. Don't worry. Okay. But today, we're going to be focusing on the Evo. And I, I want you guys to know that when it comes to this Evo, I want to do things correctly. I want to do things right. I want to do things the proper way, not the lazy way. I don't want to have any kind of shortcuts. I don't want to cheap out on any parts. I want to make sure this car gets 150 percent man so with that being said my main focus currently is going to be under this hood with that being said we have a slight problem i'll show you right now all right you ready i'm ready okay three two one nothing happened it didn't come up no did you pull it? Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I think I know what the problem is. What do you mean you think you know what the problem is? What's the problem? Yes, I'm gonna push it. Just trust me, okay? Okay. All right, ready? Here we go. Two. Nope. Ready, set, three, two, one. Push. Hey, look at that. There we go, you little smarty pants. Yeah, Mr. Smarty Pants, sucker. I know what's wrong. You do. And I have what you need. Where is it? Yep. Okay. You get it? What are you doing right, right in here? Right, sure. Come on. You Time is money. Relax. Ladies and gentlemen, before we can even touch anything under this hood, I have had this problem. I've already had this car for a few months and I've been waiting for this to come in, but it finally, finally came in and it's been bugging the head on me because I, as you can see, need some sort of assistance to open my hood every time just to check my fluids and whatnot. And if I am on the side of the road and I have an emergency, I need to get into my hood, I have to ask a stranger and I don't like to depend on people and just, you know, yeah. So, and that is something that it needs to be fixed. So for me to even get started, we need to go ahead and fix the hood latch so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i've never fixed a hood latch before i don't think it's that difficult but i'm going to figure this out and have some fun okay this is the steps on learning your car learning how to work on it learning the every single inch piece bolts screw coupler flap whatever okay so this is the beginning a hood latch simple so i hope all right guys so Let's get right to work. I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit. It took me some time. But yeah. Quality going up. All right, guys. So yes, I'm going to go and get right to work. Let's see if I can knock this puppy out. Don't know where to begin. All right, let's go.
guys quick update so the latch is out those bolts check this out so look at the walls there where the the, the bolts were sitting of course it's been sitting there for a while look at this like i said i do not want to cheap out i want to make sure everything is as high quality as possible ignore my dirty ass hands look at the rust on these i will not be putting these back in because as it is they were a little bit difficult to get out as you saw in the video and do you really 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 think check this out do you guys really think it's smart or even like appearance wise guys look at this look at how look at how dirty these things are to put them on this guys come on I'm telling you look at that difference look at the freaking shine on this so no the answer is no we will not be putting these on because that looks absolutely janky as hell and stupid so we're gonna go ahead and get brand new hardware we're gonna take these to uh to the store get three replacements and whatever else i find um, that needs to be replaced and as i go i will be continuing to upgrade here and there so for example this bad boy needs a nice nice good polish it is dull it is rough it is nasty but look at this and look at that oh, focus i have a feeling that these may just crumble <laughs> the day i take this off to polish it um so we may have a little interesting video with that uh but yes yeah, slowly by surely oh and i forgot while changing these we're gonna go ahead and get these as well because they're breaking i'm sure just because of old age and if you look at it these two are the same they have this uh there you go like little rough top end compared to this is smooth so i'd rather and look wait, what is this I, I don't know what that is okay so i'd rather have everything uniform and nice and perfect Awesome. okay camera's back i did lose some footage but that's okay so pretty much what i had literally just said was the hood was open right now it's closed the hood was open and i went ahead and put on the new latch connected the cable just because i again the hole where the cable has to slide out of it seems as if it's like i don't know they put it i, I don't know i don't know how everything else in other words like all of the um the knobs and stuff like that towards the end of the cable i don't know how that's going to go through because it doesn't look like it can go through but they did somehow but i can't see it so before replacing the cable that may not even be bad i went ahead and put in the new latch and i pulled the lever inside the car and it actually pulled the latch so if i'm not mistaken we should be good i'm going to check right now the hood like i said is closed so i'm going to pull the latch hopefully this camera gets it let's see might have just fixed it Alrighty guys, here we go, here we go, here we go. Moment of truth. If this thing pops, mm. oh boy. Ready? In three. Please, please, please. Two. One. Oh! Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. Where you at, where you at? Uh-oh. Come on, Latch, there you are. <laughs> oh, thank God. Ladies and gentlemen, the hood latch is fixed. A lot more simple than it was going to be and I'm so happy about that. That means we can go ahead and move on to the rest of this car. Let's do that one more time. Easy. Good. Oh. <laughs> I love when things go planned. All right, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and take the old hardware out. I'm gonna pick it up uh, 
if not today yeah i'll pick it up today i'm gonna go to the yeah, yeah i got time i'm gonna go to the store and get the hardware put the new hardware in along with the new cl uh, the new clamps and wrap this video up All right, guys, so here it is, nice and clean, beautiful latch. And I know it's something simple, but to me, it is a start for this Evo. I want to focus on restoring this car, changing everything as much as I possibly can. And again, coming down to the most simple, which is going to be the hardware. To me, this is a big, big step up. Look at the comparison between the two latches, old versus new. And with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And just like that, the hood latch is fixed. The Evo is ready to get worked on. Up next, I'm going to go ahead and really, really dive into this engine bay and get real picky. We're going to make this engine bay look absolutely phenomenal. This is going to be the beginning to getting this Evo cleaned up, restored in pristine, pristine condition, guys. And I cannot wait to get started under this hood, but next video, next week, it will not be under the hood, but you guys, you have to come back for that one, okay? It's gonna be something really, really awesome. I've been dying to do this since I got the car, so please stay tuned. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm so grateful for all of you guys that have been following me and that have stuck around, even though the G37 is gone and we have moved on to a completely different, completely different monster. All right. So once again, guys, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for stopping by. Thank you all for spending time with me and doing something so simple, but that makes me happy. And I hope you guys are doing the same thing. Okay. Always remember, do what makes you happy. Do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else. I'll see you guys next time.